My name is Corby Lenker. I'm a singer-songwriter turned author. Uh, I live in Nashville, Tennessee, and my book is called Medium Hero. Um, I, yeah, I think that there are a lot of recurring themes in the stories, and um, many of them have to do with uh, things being beautiful unto themselves um, in small, everyday ways. I think that when I'm around people, like in everyday life, I think people think I'm a upbeat, positive-thinking, friendly individual, but um, a lot of times I'm just being brave, you know, like everybody is when they go into public. And when I'm writing, I don't have to do that anymore. I can just be ridiculous if I want, and I'm a little ridiculous. The stories are a little bit ridiculous in the sweetest way. <laughs> <clears throat> it's true, I had a, a bit of an unusual childhood in the sense that my father was and is a funeral director, um, but we always called him a mortician. And for that reason, my parents being my parents, they didn't really pull any punches or hide things away from the kids. Um, I hung out at the mortuary a lot. Me and my brother used to play in the caskets. As I got older, um, there were other things that I saw that were a little more, you know, more graphic than grandma died in her sleep. And it did make you, you know, jolted you into realizing that, wow, life is really here today and gone tomorrow and there's no guarantee. The book is sort of a celebration of oddballs. Um, I, I hope that there's a sympathetic tone to it because that's often how I feel about people I meet. And I'm usually drawn to people who don't seem to be surrounded by friends or there's something antagonistic about them. When I first took piano lessons, uh, I remember learning, I heard it through the grapevine and just pounding the shit out of the piano because that's what felt good. And it wasn't like, is this okay? Is this not okay? It's like, this is bright. And this, the same thing with the, with the book. I you know, wanted to go that way. And why is that? Mm, I'm not really sure. It's because I wanted to do it. I'm not trying to be the next F. Scott Fitzgerald. I'm not trying to be anything. I'm just trying to write another good story and write another good song. The rest can take care of itself. I think that people write for all different kinds of reasons, and some of them write to find out what they think, and I am one of those people. I don't really know what I'm doing and what's going on, and I never really want to claim otherwise, but sometimes you have things shown you that hint at where you might want to go, and I think hints are maybe the best thing that we have to go on.